What's up everybody? Thomas Kennedy here back again with another airbrush video for you. Um, today I will be showing you how to airbrush a simple t-shirt, just a simple name, very basic design using minimal colors. Something you can bust out real quick and easy at an airbrush setup. If you're working at, a, at an event, have a tent set up or an airbrush booth or whatever, turn a quick profit. Stuff you can bust out in just a couple of minutes. These also make good gifts for family members or friends, whatever. Um, so if you are interested in learning that, stay tuned. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and watch till the end. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, help the algorithms, help my channel grow. Uh, with all that being said, let's jump into the video. All right, so I'm back here in the airbrush room. And first off, I'm gonna show you what paints I'll be using on this simple t-shirt. All right, the first step, I'm gonna use fluorescent green. And like always, I'm using the Createx t-shirt paint. I'll be using the fluorescent green to lay down the first part of the design. I'll be going over that with some regular opaque green, just to darken up a couple of spots. And then I will be going right to the opaque black to do the actual name and then just a couple of little design accents above and below the name and at the end I will be going and doing a drop shadow under the name with the opaque green to kind of give it a little bit more depth and last but not least I'll be using the opaque white to do a few highlights and that will finish it off. All right, so I have my airbrush loaded with the fluorescent green. So first off, I'm just going to lay down a real simple circular design. And I'll go darker in some areas, lighter in some areas. So this is the first step. Just try to, try to keep the whole design a few inches below the neck. That way the design's not too far up on the neck of the shirt. Just a real simple circle design. Just lay it down light. Then you can step back. And if it's not perfectly centered, you can always adjust it. All right, so that's the first step. Just a basic circle, easy enough. Now let's go on to step two. All right, so I have my airbrush loaded with opaque green. So it's gonna be just a little bit darker than this fluorescent green. And I'm just gonna lay down a little bit of a gradient, darker on the outside, lighter fading in. And it'll just give it a really cool look. All right, so that's the step two. And as you can see, it just gives it a nice simple gradient and gives it a cool effect. It makes the shirt look a little bit brighter and pop more from a distance. So just overall makes it a better design. So let's move on to step three. All right, so I have my airbrush loaded up with opaque black. As we move on to step three, I'll be doing the actual name and a couple of accents above and below the name to give it a cool look. So here we go.
so like I said, that's something a little different. Um, I do the regular cursive with just a real, real uh, crisp, thick and thin lines. I do that a lot, but this is just something different. Um, just more of a sketchy look. It's quick and easy, and it's just something. Maybe it looks more boyish, like if you're doing a shirt for a boy, whereas the perfect scripty looking cursive is maybe more girly looking or something. Um, so keep that in mind. You can try this and add these cool little accents here. Just gives it a, a different look. And now I'm going to add the little accent lines on the top and bottom like I was talking about. All right, so that's step three. Um, and basically all this is, the designs on the top and bottom, that's just a combination of thick lines where you're farther away and less trigger, and thin lines where you are closer and you have less trigger, like so. That's basically all that is. Closer, more trigger, you get a thinner, crisper line farther away you get uh, more of a wide light line where you can do gradients and stuff. So now on to step four. All right, so step four, I have my airbrush loaded with opaque green and I'm simply gonna come in here and do a simple drop shadow just to make the name have a little bit more depth so, here it is. All right, so that was step four, just adding the opaque green drop shadow, just to make that name pop out a little bit more. And now on to step five. All right, so it's time for the fifth and final step for this simple t-shirt. I have my airbrush loaded with opaque white and I'm going to do just a few little highlights here and there. So let's check it out. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Go get those airbrushes out, get you a blank white shirt, and start practicing. The more you practice this kind of stuff, the easier it is, the quicker you can bust it out. 
once you get the hang of it, you can bust these out in five minutes or less. That's good quick profits if you're setting up an airbrush tent somewhere. You can do tons of these, charge what you want, just check around, see what other artists you know close by are charging at different events. Um, make that quick profit, quick and easy. Um, and of course, don't forget to heat press it. I'm not gonna do that in this video. If you have questions about that, you can comment below or check out my older video. I think it's airbrushing t-shirts for beginners or something. It goes through the whole heat press process and all that. So check that out. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it, if you learned something. Um, if you have any questions, just comment below. And until next time, peace out.